with the full moon because the full moon, how we doing? You all right? Yes, sir. Everything good? Yeah, what's going on? How we got call? Right. They, they sent y'all to me specifically? No, they, they set up a black. Did y'all see what just happened? They said they got a call that a black man in a plaid shirt was talking to himself. Lord have mercy. I thought I'd do the psychological evaluations. Black August ends in a new moon. And I'm going to take it upon me with this new moon that came in yesterday to start working on my for sisters only relationships and dating book. That's the new project of the new moon. So let me ask all of you Africans, brothers and sisters. Let me ask all of you Africans, brothers and sisters. Let me ask all of you Africans. What is your new project for the new moon? What are you going to begin working on? The new moon came in last night. What are you going to be working on? New business? New relationship? New alignment? Reading a new book? New community service project? What is your new project for the new moon? And in 15 days, we will evaluate your progress with the full moon because the full moon, how we doing? You all right? Yes, sir. Everything good? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, we just got a call about somebody that we were worried about someone. Yeah. Me? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's true. Okay, now nah, I'm Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm just waiting on my flight to Amsterdam. Okay. It wasn't me. I'm good. Okay. Right. They, they sent y'all to me specifically? No, they, they set up a black man on a plaid shirt in this vicinity. I might be the only... Was doing what? No, they just... It was somebody called in and just said they were... That you, some that person was talking to themselves, and they were just worried. Oh, now I'm a psychologist. I, yeah. I'm perfectly sane. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> like we're just doing our due diligence. No so. problem. No problem. All is well. All right. All right now. All right. All right. Someone sent the police. Y'all see the police behind me? Do y'all see the police behind me? They sent the police to. Fully uniformed, white power struck. They sent the police to the prince of Pan-Africanism. And I'm talking about spirituality. See, brothers and sisters, did y'all see what just happened? They said they got a call that a black man in a plaid shirt was talking to himself. Lord have mercy. I thought I'd do the psychological evaluations. I thought I'd do the psychological assessments. I thought I'd do the psychological screenings. I thought I'd do the psychological diagnosing. I thought I'd do the psychotherapy. That's the first time that's happened to me. The police came to apprehend me. So the question becomes, who sent them? Was it the Utubian Negropians? Was it the Utubian Negropians? Was it a Neanderthal who's listening to me in this airport who doesn't agree with the mission, the message, or the methods? Who do y'all think sent the police? Who summoned Detroit's finest? Who summoned Detroit's finest? Was it one of you all? Was it a member of my Ifa Tunde queendom? Was it the reactionary beta manosphere? Was it a Caucasian in the airport? Was it a Utubian, Negropian? Brothers and sisters, I can't wait to get to Amsterdam. I need a break from the United States. Amsterdam, I'm on my way. Amsterdam, black Amsterdam. Where my Amsterdam queens at and my Rotterdam queens? Where my Holland queens? I need a break from the United States. I'm going to go hang out with black Europe for a few days. Where my Brussels queens at? Where my Brussels Belgium family at? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. They still here. The police still here. Let me see if I can show y'all. They still here. Let me show y'all. Did y'all see him? I don't want to point at him because I might get in trouble for showing my phone at the police. 
one brother and two Neanderthals. They still here. Am I going to jail for talking spiritual enlightenment? Am I going to jail for talking spiritual transcendence? If I go to jail, will my Detroit family bail me out? If I go to jail, will my Detroit, Michigan family bail me out? Detroit Africans, do I got a Detroit queen who gonna come get me? Do I got a Detroit king who gonna come get me? Is my Highland Park African family gonna bail me out? Is my Romulus, Michigan African family gonna bail me out? Is my Inksta, Michigan African family gonna bail me out? Detroit, if I go to jail, are y'all gonna come get me? Who gonna bail out the Prince of Pan-Africanism from Detroit? Who's gonna bail the Prince of Pan-Africanism out if I get locked up in Detroit for talking spiritual enlightenment? We not even dealing with politics. This is, we not even hitting Pan-Africanism. This is insane. We talking about karma and destiny. I'm about to be handcuffed for karma and destiny. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Keep me in your prayers as I go to Europe. I got a sister. I got a brother from Dayton. They said they're going to bail me out. Shout out to my Dayton, Ohio family. Shout out to my Dayton, Ohio family. They said we're going to bail you out, Doc. I got to come back to Dayton. I've only been to Dayton, Ohio one time. I've only been to Dayton, Ohio one time. I got to come on back. Shout out to Dayton, Ohio for stepping up. Said they're going to come get the Prince. They're only an hour away from Detroit. Dayton, Ohio is only an hour from Detroit. But let's deal with that incident. There was a spiritual lesson to be learned. You know why the police were called? You know why the police were called? Because there are demons, black and white. There are demons, black and white. There are demons, black and white, who hate for you to be resurrected on the spiritual path. They want you to stay in low frequency activity. They want you to stay in low frequency vibration. See, let me, let's talk frequency one time. Let's talk vibration, let's talk frequency. Let's talk vibration and let, okay. Vibration is the speed at which your spiritual nature is active. Vibration is the speed of spiritual activity. Frequency is the level at which that speed is in motion. Y'all feel me? Vibration is the rate of spiritual activity. It is the soul's heartbeat. Vibration is the soul's heartbeat. Like your heart, that's the body's heartbeat. Your soul, your vibration is your soul's heartbeat. And depending on how fast your soul is vibrating, depending how fast your soul is vibrating, that's your frequency. High frequency, medium frequency, low frequency. High frequency, medium frequency, low frequency. High frequency, medium frequency, low frequency. Check it out. Y'all don't want to hear this. But I'm going to make you understand, overstand, and understand this. I'm going to make you understand, overstand, and understand this. When you turn on a YouTube video and you watching somebody slander somebody, you watching somebody condemn somebody, you watching somebody degrade somebody, your vibration slows down because your spirit is not interested in judging other people. Your spirit got enough work to do on its own. And the lower your vibration goes, the lower your vibration goes, the lower the vibration goes, 
the more you will attract undesirable energy, people, and circumstances. That's the karma of engaging in low vibrational activity. I'm going to say it again. We talk in karma and destiny. The karmic debt that you accrue for engaging in low vibrational energies and activities, you attract negative people, you attract negative circumstances, you get into car accidents, people rob you, you lose your keys, identity theft, all kind of bad things start happening because when you wallow in shit, when you like to wallow in shit, when you like to play in negativity, you attract more of the same. You get what you looking for. You get what you are. You get what you do. Stop flying around the shit and raise your vibration. Go from shit up to the sun. That's the dichotomy. One end of the dichotomy is messy shit. The other end of the dichotomy is the solar sun. One end of the dichotomy is messy shit. The other end of the dichotomy is the solar sun.